Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. My friend, I have not been live in a minute. I've not been live. It's Lisa Blaisdell. How are you? Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. You guys, it's August 15th. What is happening? Where is the summer going? I know a lot of you have kids going back to school. I can't even believe it. Can't believe I have no one going back to school anymore. One more year of college. Not yet, though. Um, and I wanted to come on here and just really be transparent about some of the things that have been challenging for me this summer and share with you tips on how I am remotivating myself, reorganizing myself, and refocusing myself. Because I know that the summer can be a time. It's, I mean, love summer, love summer. So it's my favorite season. It's so much fun. And especially, you know, as a mom raising my girls, I remember what it was like. I mean, summer is a challenging time. And it was like, it used to be like one big party because, you know, nobody has to go to bed on time. There's no homework. You know, the schedules are totally thrown off. You know, we had a lot of fun through those years. And now I'm in a different season in my life. I'm in an amazing season in my life, um, coming off a really tough 2021. And I've been having a lot of fun. So I'm right there with you. My kids are grown, but I'm having my own fun, which is amazing. And yet I still need to get refocused and back on track. So whether you want to get back on track with your health, your fitness, these are things I've been talking about forever and ever. Um, maybe you, uh, you are a business owner like me. You want to get your business back on track. You know, you've got goals for yourself that you set for yourself for 2022. You know, this is a good time to take a look at where you're at and get refocused. So I'm going to give you one, two, three, four, four tips on how to get refocused and remotivated, get your momentum back, right? Like when you have momentum in any aspect of your life, it's like things are going well, but if you put that momentum down, which it's easy to do. And the summertime is a time where I think a lot of people lose momentum in different areas of their life. It's hard to pick it back up or it can be hard to pick it back up. So I'm going to give you some tips. These are all things that I am going to be personally doing myself and, you know, just always looking for accountability and, you know, friends to do this with. Okay. So first of all, what is it that you want to get back on track on? I'm actually doing okay with my health and fitness. I stay really consistent, especially with my fitness. Um, you know, the eating can always get better. I, I feel like I'm doing okay, but I have not been consistent with, with my business. I mean, I have to a degree, but I could do better. I know I'm very hard on myself as well. So I really want to get back on board because there's a lot of people that I want to help. I mean, honestly, that's that's the biggest thing. So that's the first thing I would ask you to evaluate or reevaluate. Why? Like, why do you want to get back on track with your goals? Why do you want to start eating healthy again? Why do you want to get back to your fitness classes? Whatever it is, right? Why do you want to get back to the goal that you have? So, you know, why? Why are you building a business? I talk to a lot of business owners. Why are you doing it, right? I mean, for me, you know, the obvious financial component kind of important, um, you know, bills still happen to come in. And, and I know for me, the number one reason why I do what I do is I want to help women make money, period, the end. I want to help women get empowered. I want to help women stand on their own two feet. And that's what gets me excited when I wake up every day. So I need to spend time reconnecting with that. Why? Reconnecting with why I want to do this. Why the impact that I want to make the younger version of me, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago that needed to have a vehicle like the one that I'm in and needed to have something that really would serve me over the, over the years. So go back to why. That's the first thing. Maybe take some time, maybe journal it, you know, really think about it, talk to your family and your friends about it. Why are you doing what you're doing? Number 2, set or reset a goal, right? If you if you've got goals for yourself for this year, it's not too late, but we are in August. So if you set a goal to, you know, maybe you wanted to pursue, you know, a, a marathon or something athletic, maybe you, you know, wanted to work on your health, improve your fitness, improve any component of your health. Maybe you have some, you know, numbers that you're working with your physician on to lower cholesterol, lower your blood pressure, whatever it is. You know, I try, I don't focus on the number of the scale, but maybe there are some things that you wanted to take on this year and you've gotten off track this summer. I mean, I used to get really off track in the summer with my girls, like bad. Um, 
So maybe you need to, to do that. Whatever it is for you, reset your goal. Like I know for me, I have to reset my goals. Like right now, I have to reset them for August, September, and the end of the year. I am going to reset my goals for myself, for my business specifically, okay? So that is number two. Number three, how are you gonna prepare? Like, what are you doing? Now this is where the rubber meets the road. What are you doing to prepare? Like, you know, I know for me, back when the kids were going back to school, I, I, get, I had to get the food situation back on track. I had to focus on, you know, getting us organized for meals, lunches, all the things. And what do I need to do to prepare? What do you need to do to prepare to get your exercise on track or, you know, your business on track? Like maybe you need to hire a coach. Maybe you need to have some accountability built in so that you can really get focused and really get back on track or, you know, find an accountability partner. Like, what do you need to do to prepare? Get yourself organized every single week. For me, it's Sunday nights or Monday mornings. What do you need to do to get yourself organized so that you're set up for success all week? Um, you know, I really look at my calendar at the end of the weekend and I decide how am I going to spend, you know, how am I going to spend my week? What am I going to do with my days? Okay. Um, and then number four, I mean, this is really, this is really quick. I mean, these are important but they're, it's not complicated at all. Getting back on track is not complicated. It's just about getting it done. Um, get the routine down. So what is your routine gonna be? It really is about what you're gonna do every single day. So for me, when am I gonna work? You know, I really don't like to work on Fridays at all. I'm just being totally honest and transparent. So how, what do I need to do Monday through Thursday to set up myself for success? So then Fridays, I can take the day and do what I wanna do, okay? so you know, what, what am I doing through those days? What am I doing throughout the day on those days? Where am I, where am I exercising on those days? Where am I getting my food organized on those days? Where am I, you know, reaching out to people and connecting with people and building relationships? Cause that's what I get to do, which is the best ever. So get the routine down. Once you get into a rhythm, right? Like, you know, I mean, a lot of you know what I'm talking about here. Once you get into a rhythm and you really get that routine down with all the things all the things I just spoke about, that's where you build momentum. That's where the momentum comes. And I'm telling you, my friend, once you start to build momentum in any part of your life, you will feel so good about yourself. You will start to have success. You'll start to have wins and you'll feel like you're making progress. And it doesn't matter if you hit the target or not, but if you feel like you're making progress and you feel like you're working towards something that you want to accomplish, you're going you're gonna to accomplish it because you're not going to stop. So again, just to recap, know your why. I mean, that's really the most important thing. I mean, for me as a business owner, that's the number one thing I coach my team on is, you know, why are we here? What are we doing here? Because we could all be doing a lot of different things. Um, reset your goal, right? Reset it. Maybe you fell off track. Maybe, maybe you didn't even set a goal. So set it. Um, get yourself organized. What are you going to do to prep? Get a routine down. And then I will add one last thing because this is really important. There's a great book. I've talked about it on the live before. Um, the Gap and the Gain. Focus on your wins. You know, Focus on what is going really well. Focus on what you are doing well. I was in a habit, and I'm going to get back in this habit, of tracking my daily wins. What'd you do great every day? So far, I've exercised. I didn't think I was going to, but I did. And I've eaten well. And I'm, I got on a call. I got on a team call. It was amazing. So already there's some wins that I've done to start to build momentum in some of the areas of my life. So track your wins because you'll feel so much better about yourself. So I hope this helps. Reach out to me if you want some accountability. I love to help people get on track with their goals. Mwah. Love you. Have a great Monday.